Hello, this is Robert Dawson from Top Search Result. Today I'm going to be showing you how to embed a YouTube video onto your Century21.ca website. So I pulled up a real estate agent team and they kind of combined here. This is their website, agent website. I do some work for them, uh, Prince Edward Island. They wanted to have a, a video, YouTube video right on their website. So a little playing around and I got it got it to work. So just play this first. Nothing too fancy, but it's just something a little different. Differentiate a bit. It uh, fits nice in with the website. And I'm a big believer in video and images too for websites. So another thing you want to notice here is that the video is actually playing right on the website instead of the usual. A lot of people put the links in and it'll take them to say YouTube and then play the video in YouTube. The problem with that is once you get to YouTube, like you have no idea where these people, are, like potential customer, could be going down here. I don't know, find a video on funny cats and they're gone. They a short attention span, right? Or they could uh, find your competition on there, which is you know you don't want to open that gate up. It's better just to have the video play right on your own website, keep them here, and then they can proceed on um, with the rest of your website. So first thing you want to do is go to YouTube. I already pre-selected this video and changed around some stuff, but usually just search or you can upload your own video. Anyways, once you find what or upload or find whatever you want to put on your website, there's little options over here. This is URL and this is if you wanted to link like from your website to YouTube to play the video which as I said is probably not you know it's not bad but it's not the best way to do it the best thing to do is to embed it onto your website so it'll just play on your on your website as you saw now one little thing to notice here is this customize thing you click this and I like to this is usually clicked is remove this include related videos I just want to show my own video Again, I don't want people leaving the site. It's just not not good policy. Uh, then all you have to do, and you can change stuff like the color and a bunch of stuff like this. Not overly important, but you know, depending on what you want to do. Then you go up here, and this is the code you need. So basically, I like to press Control C, which is my copy or you can press right click on your mouse and then copy and that's the code you need and I like to open up a word processor here just a few things to note and this is from the century21.ca member services you cannot remove the embedded code so once this video is on there it's hard for you individually to remove it. You kind of have to write into them and tell them to remove it. It's kind of a, a little bit of a hassle. Uh, and you can edit it. And the sizing of the video has to be pretty, pretty precise before you put it in there. And uh, they are looking for different solutions, I guess. But this is a hackish kind of way to do it. So the main thing I already figured out a pretty, pretty good width for you and that's 350 so you take your code and you paste it so control V or again right click your mouse and then then select uh, paste and then you'll notice this code will come up and it's a bunch of things that look you know like Japanese or different language but it's pretty simple you just look for this you want to change the width 
and you want to change it to 350. And then I think there's another one down here. 350. And then you just want to highlight this by holding down the left button on your mouse. And going up with the cursor, and again, control copy or right click your mouse copy. And that's all the changes you have to do. Now you have to go into your online office. Now this might be different depending on how you use it, what you use. Um, I have admin rights for this particular website. It's a brokerage out of Prince Edward Island. And you just go to the page you want to insert your your video into. And I want it right on the home page here and I already I already put this video in but see this is one of the problems is you can't see it once you insert it. So you can't see it, you can't edit it, but it's it's there. So wherever this cursor is you wanna, you know, maybe space and then you want to press control V again and this thing will come up use control V on your keyboard to paste so that's what I always use anyways control V and this is your code this is gonna this is your video although it doesn't look like a video right there and then go insert now that video is in there but you just can't see it, which is just really weird, but it's the way they're doing it. And then you press save. I'm not going to save this because I don't want two videos on this website. It wouldn't make any sense. So I'm just going to cancel. And then you should end up with something like this with the video right here and it fits nice into these margins. Otherwise, it would be going over here on the right side. Just wouldn't look good. Now, this technique can be used again for blog posts. So, go into blog in your online office. Go new posts. Let's look quick. Right, video test. Explain video here. A little introduction. I'm gonna go over to YouTube. Copy that again. Control C or right click and then paste control V insert so on this one you can actually see the video which is kind of nice and you can put text around it or links or whatever uh, now you got to post agree okay uh, just gonna put this on here so I can see it that's basically it. It's the same thing. You just you don't have to change the width or anything because it's already or on the blog post. It won't overlap on any of the pages. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Make sure it worked. And there we are. It's in there. Blog video test. And if you have any problems with this, you can always reach me at support at top search is in search engine result dot ca. Hope you enjoy that and happy hacking.